Hello, my friend. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina, and today is another tutorial how to work with wafer paper. I've been playing around and experimenting with this wafer paper lace technique for quite some time, and I'm happy to share with you how to create this wafer paper lace. It's very easy, and we are going to fry wafer paper again and how to assemble on a cake and add some decorations. So let's begin. To make this kind of lace, the one thing you will need and the thing you cannot skip on is having a high quality non-stick pen. And my pen is on medium high, so it's 6 out of high or out of 10. For making my lace, I'm going to use wafer paper. This is 0.27 millimeters. And all I need is to create some sort of soft edges and shape, different shapes. So like this. Also, I will need a shallow dish like this. And I'm going to use just water. And to color my wafer paper, I'm going to use Elite Color Cecilia Rose and the Sparkle Color by the Sugar Art. I'm looking for a very subtle shade of pink and I know that my wafer paper is going to shrink and it's going to become much darker. So all I need for this application is to take my piece of wafer paper, submerge it in water and place it onto my pan. And you can see my pan is hot so it starts to fry immediately. And if you wanted to have more lacy details, feel free to sprinkle just a little bit of water to create more interesting designs. So the same, submerge my wafer paper, put it in a relatively hot pan and add a few drops of water. So you can see it's easy to pull on this lace and help it become even more interesting and lacy. When your wafer paper lace is done and it's something like this and it's already dry, but not fully dry, so it's still a little bit flexible. I'm going to set it aside on my drying rack and continue with making my lace. So you can tell that this, this lace is beautiful and you can help to shape it while it's still wet. Now that I have my lace prepared, I'm going to place it on my cake. And I want my lace to go here on the front. I'm going to start with something like a larger piece and place it somewhere this way. I find that it's easier to use either regular water or a touch of piping gel or clear gel to attach your wafer paper. So I'm going to apply small amount of water on the back side of my lace to make it sticky. And I'm going to place it here on the front and hold it for a second to help it stick to the cake. And here on the bottom, I wanted to make sure that my lace is going to stay. I'll take a toothpick to help it hold its shape. So uh, next I'm going to take another piece of my lace. So I'm still playing with layers and wanted to assemble this in upward going way. So I think this piece is, will go here. And I know that I don't have enough space here to place it. So I'll take my mini steamer. This is a cold steam. And I wanted to soften it a little bit before I'm going to place it on a cake. So now this lace becomes more flexible and easier to adjust to all these crevices and tear differences I have here. So I'm going again to use a touch of piping gel or water and apply on my lace in a few spots where I wanted this to be attached to my cake. So you can see, because I steamed it or add a touch of moisture back, it's much easier to handle and to shape around my cake. And I wanted to continue with this movement, but this piece is a little bit too big. So I'll take my scissors and cut to the shape I wanted to. So I think I wanted to position this 
like this. Again, I'm going to steam it a little bit just to make sure that I can layer all my pieces and apply a thin layer of piping gel on the back. Now I know the general position or the movement for my lace. I wanted to create more layers, like with smaller pieces. And I think that I wanted to go darker on top and lighter on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. And for this design, I'm going for layer it almost like sea foam design. I wanted this to be as textural as possible. And the last step for me would be to add a little bit more embellishments. I have this uh, fresh water pearls. I used Maggie Austin's tutorial from her book, how to make this. But I think this would be a great addition to my design. And also I have this tiny pearls. And as always, I use piping gel to apply these decorations onto my cake. So I'll take a piece of decor dip it into my piping gel and then attach it onto my cake. And same for my tiny pearls. Place it somewhere next to this beautiful freshwater pearls. And then all I need is to remove my toothpick and everything stays in place. So here's my design for this cake. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this tutorial, give me a like for the YouTube algorithm. You know how it works. It really helps me to grow my channel and spread my wafer paper love to other cake artists. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. My name is Anna Stashkina. Bye-bye.